Many people have heard the saying, pressure makes diamonds and fire refines gold. Such is true about most of Mother Nature's natural resources. They must pass through some form of refinement to emerge as the beautiful substances we make use of and see all around us. It's hard to believe that the same substance can be used to make two very distinct objects. For example, soda lime glass used in window panels is made from limestone. Yet this same raw material is transformed to produce a much more beautiful pebble known as marble. Marble, a very popular stone that is now very much used, is a metamorphic rock formed from the sedimentation of carbonate rocks. When limestone or dolomite is subjected to extreme heat and pressure in the Earth's interior, it is transformed into marble. Pure marble is completely white, and the presence of impurities like aluminum, iron oxide, magnesium, mica, graphite, quartz, etc. gives it its color variety that forms lines called veins. This stone is resistant to heat, cold, or rain, making it perfect for all kinds of weather. It's sometimes confused with granite. However, granite is an igneous rock derived from volcanic magma and not layered sedimentary rock. Granite typically has a pebbly or spotted color pattern, while marble usually has a wavy veined pattern. We go behind the scenes to see how marble is extracted from the quarries and how the marble floor is made. Marble is a raw material obtained from the earth from unique sites known as quarries. 95% of quarries are in the form of open quarries, while 5% are in the form of mines and caves. Marble is quarried in mountainous regions around the world, and it's found at ground level or at high depths, which adds up to the high cost of stone removal. Marble can be found in many countries, including Belgium, France, Great Britain, Greece, Italy, Turkey, Spain, and throughout North America. The initial step for mining marble is locating a potential quarrying site carried out by experts with multiple years of expertise. Over the last century, quarrying marble has been made significantly easier with vast improvements over the past 20 years. An outcrop of exposed marble is the surest way for geologists to locate a potential vein. Geologists find the most desirable marble deposits by drilling down into the bedrock and removing the sample. Core samples are taken to determine the best location for digging and the marble's expected quality and purity. The sample is then tested for strength and polished to determine color and pattern. Next, the mining company needs to apply for all the required licenses from the local, state, and federal government, which may take months to years. Once a quarry location is determined, a sample is taken to determine the exact color and characteristics. Once all the necessary approvals are obtained, mining can then begin. Mining marble involves creating a bench wall, which requires a synthetic diamond wire and diamond-tipped drills to separate the rocks to form a vertical plane. It involves drilling holes in the marble from the top of the quarry and lining up another drill hole from the side, much like a bicycle chain. The marble is fed through these holes and connected to a machine that keeps tension on the wire as it slices through it wearing it down until a block of marble is detached from the surrounding marble. This large block is further cut down into smaller blocks to allow transportation. Heavy cranes lift these smaller blocks onto trucks for transportation to cutting sites. The next step is processing, which is done in a factory and involves two steps, unloading and cutting. The process of unloading is done by a gantry crane, a heavy-duty crane that picks the marble blocks from the truck and places them in the factory. Cutting is done after the blocks are offloaded from the trucks, and multi-wire cutting machines are used to cut these blocks into the form of slabs. Other processes at the factory stage include washing marble blocks with water and cutting marble to carve out gang saw slabs, cutter slabs, and tiles. Cuts from stone quarries are taken to factories where they are sliced into tiles, pavers, slabs, and mosaics. Once on site, marble rocks are first cut and divided into parts by a special machine called a gang saw with adjustable blades. These parts are then transferred into stone cutting workshops and are cut into arbitrary and appropriate sizes. After cutting, marble is molded with a special machine into a fine smooth surface. 
after which the strips or slaps are then ready for polishing, as a large conveyor system moves them through the polishing line. This whole process typically starts with coarse diamond abrasives and moves gradually to finer and finer abrasives which are ready to be used. Once the polishing process is over, the marble is ready for quality assurance testing and packaging in preparation for distribution. In earlier times, marble extraction was done manually using common tools like wooden wedges, ropes, halters, shovels, and picks. However, presently, the use of heavy machinery and explosives are employed. These explosives are used to separate the marble from blocks and rubble. There are three primary stages of marble processing, extraction, sawing and polishing, stone slabs and tile dyeing, edging to make slab application worthy, polishing to get a cleaner and smoother marble surface, and finishing as per buyer's requirements. All these ensure delivery of high quality marble. Marble is the most popular stone in the construction sector, where it is used for marble floors. Throughout history, marble flooring has been seen as a symbol of royalty and wealth. From the Palace of Versailles to the wondrous Taj Mahal, marble floorings are present for their exquisite beauty. The marble material is durable and easy to clean, making it a practical choice for busy families. Important characteristics of marble floors include color, texture, hardness, porosity, solubility, resistance, and power. Besides flooring, marbles can also be used in the interior design of stairs, columns, kitchen counters, bathrooms, and toilets. Marble flooring has various advantages and disadvantages. The advantages of marble flooring include appearance, translucency, distinction, uniqueness, and eco-friendly nature. Its ability to shine and its dense nature are also one of the marble's fine qualities. The disadvantages of marble flooring are that it is easily scratched, soft, stain-prone, and quite expensive. Marble comes in various styles and floor patterns, including the herringbone pattern, brick pattern, regular pattern, repeating pattern, mosaic and medallions pattern, bordered pattern, and 3D effect. Marble grading size thickness, finish, and veining are several qualities considered in its final price value. The veins can be more or less visible depending on the quality of the marble. A higher marble grade has a lesser amount of impurities in its composition and therefore fewer veins. It takes a lot of skill, proper equipment, and patience to get the marble from the ground and into your home or a best-selling piece. Marble has been used in buildings since the past, and the Egyptians and Greeks used this rock in building their temples. Italy is one of the largest marble producers in the world. They also make the world's finest marble stones. It's not a mystery that because of its beauty, marble has been used in construction works, decorations, and sculpturing. If you're a lover of art, you may have seen the wonderful sculptures created in the Renaissance era that are made of marble, like David by Michelangelo and other famous works by Leonardo da Vinci. These sculptures are breathtaking, and though created years ago, still look as immaculate as ever. While in construction, this pebble is becoming a popular option because it combines the beauty of marble with the practicality of its wood. Marble flooring is expensive, but it's worth the investment if you want to create a luxurious look in your home. Would you love to have marble floors in your home? Leave your answers in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for new videos.